Good afternoon, everybody. I want to uh, I want to welcome you all to Brockton City Hall. Uh, we are so excited to have so many wonderful people here to celebrate Greek Independence Day. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, I want to thank Senator Mike Brady for being here. I want to thank David Texera, Councilor Lodge, for being here. I want to thank City Councilor Jack Lally for being here and our esteemed city clerk, Tim Cruz, for being here today as well. And I, I do want to apologize. We usually do this outside, and it's a wonderful event outside. But as you can see, we're doing a, a massive renovation on City Hall. Uh, and then next year, we'll be back outside. So again, I appreciate you uh, working with us as we accommodate doing this inside. I want to thank Consul General Tigos for being here today. I want to thank Mr. Bill Kafkas, President of the Federation of Hellenic American Societies of New England. Mr. Kafkas, thank you for being here. I want to thank Mr. George Penagopoulos, uh, Vice President of the Parish Council of the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church here in the city of Brockton, the wonderful choir associated with the wonderful church as well. And again, I, Reverend Father uh, uh, Karanos is here as well. Thank you, Father, for being here. Bob Denopoulos is here as well. There's just so many people. I want to thank uh, an esteemed uh, city worker, uh, Paula uh, Sitsopoulos, for coordinating this every single year. Paula, thank you. Thank you so at this time, we are going to uh, have the uh, wonderful choir sing the American National Anthem, and then they will come back to the podium as we proudly raise the flag at the conclusion, and they will do a rendition of, of the uh, National Anthem of Greece. Thank you very much. At this time, I'm going to have Father come to the podium uh, with an opening prayer. Father. Ish to onoma tu patros ke tu iu ke tu ahiu pnevmatos. Amin. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, you shared your whole life in order to redeem us. You have said, "I came that they may have life and have it abundantly." On this auspicious day of the Annunciation, on which we celebrate your incarnation through the Holy Spirit and Our Lady the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. We give thanks to you for your gift of freedom, and we pray especially that our respect for freedom, peace, and life will prevail in the world. Directed by your command to care for the least of these, may we and all people heed your call to show care and concern for the lives of the poor, the oppressed, the suffering, the sick, the elderly, and the dying. May your peace reign in our hearts and throughout the world, especially in places of unrest, so that the shedding of blood in warfare, violence, terrorism, tyranny, and all manner of strife may come to an end. May aggression between neighbors and nations fade away. May love reign in the lives of families. May we become partakers of your abundant life, together with your blessed mother and all the saints whose lives have pleased you from the beginning. We pray to your life-giving Lord to hear us and have mercy. Amen. Thank you very much, Father. I, I'm just so privileged to, uh, to be able to celebrate with all of you here today the wonderful contributions the Greek community have, have done here in the city of Brockton, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and our country as a whole. 
on this joyous occasion, uh, we are really reminded of our gratitude for the many accomplishments by the wonderful Greek people here in our city and, and beyond. We are grateful that on March 25th in the year 1821, uh, 203 years ago, the Greeks fought valiantly against the feared Ottoman Empire, became an independent nation. We remember those who fought for freedom all those many years ago. May their sacrifice never, ever be forgotten. We are so privileged and honored that thousands of Greeks immigrated from their homeland to settle here in the city of Brockton. Uh, we have wonderful, wonderful, wonderful families of Greek ancestry, business owners that have really been an indelible mark, a piece of fabric here in our city of champions. We are also extremely grateful for the wonderful Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church, which is a fixture here in the city since 1917, when it began holding services on a two, out of a two-story home on, on Spring Street. Uh, further growth led to the beautiful, beautiful modern-day church that we see now on Oak Street in the year 1986. Finally, we are extremely grateful to the wonderful Greek community for enriching our lives on a daily basis with beautiful culture, various charitable efforts, and the delicious, and I know, delicious food served each and every year, twice a year, at the annual Greek Food Festival conducted by the church. Thank you for truly being a significant part of our city of champions. At this time, uh, before I get to the Consul General, I'm going to ask Senator Mike Brady to come to the podium and, and share some thoughts. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And you hit the nail on the head, the, the wonderful Greek food, but the contributions. As we know, democracy was started in the country of Greece, and we must never forget our forefathers and all those people that fought for the freedom that we can gather today, not only here, but in the country of Greece with their freedom, because people are suffering all over the world, and we are very grateful that we can gather here in a peaceful setting in the city of Brockton, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I could never get back from my heart the friendships that I grew up in my neighborhood with all the Greek friends that I, I've had growing up. And I want to thank, as the mayor said, all the contributions of the Greek communities and the Greek families they've given to the city of Brockton, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the United States of America. So, God bless America, God bless Greece. Yasu. At this time, I, I'd like to ask if, if Council Lally and Councilor Texera would like to share any thoughts. Councilors, would you like to share any thoughts? <laughs> we couldn't decide, so we compromised. That's it. <laughs> Zito. We tried democracy in action. We're, we're learning our best. Mr. Mayor, Consul, everybody, thank you for having us. Thank you for, uh, you know, turning out in such a huge number. Uh, I think it's something you know, really noteworthy about the Greek community in Brockton to see that year after year, this is, this is not a, a new community to the city, but year after year, the numbers never waver. Uh, the population, you know, never dips. In terms of pride, in terms of patriotism, in terms of attendance to events like this, uh, you know, the, the Greeks can't be beat year after year, and, and I gotta hand it to you. Yeah. Bravo. So, Councillor Texera and I, you know, we, we want to thank you all for coming. And he's going to, I talk any longer, he's going to pull me away. <laughs> but thank you all. Thank you. You know, I confuse lawyers. Nick Babanikas, I said to Tim Tom Dinopoulos earlier, you know, I want to thank Nick for what he has done. At this time, uh, and I do want to apologize to the Consul General because he ran into the city of Brockton detour that we're all, uh, they're all dealing with, and he just kept going around in circles. But he didn't give up. He didn't give up. So, Mr. Consul General, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, your mayor is Salivanopoulos, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. today. Let's go. Today. At least for today. I uh, apologize for the delay, indeed. Um, Greeks never give up. <laughs> Believe me, uh, if there is a message, throughout the centuries is don't mess with the Greeks. They will find a way, they will find um, their own way of actually making it. So here we are today, 
one more year to celebrate and pondering about the celebration, you know. We're always thinking about um, what is so worthy about, about this nation, because of course it's culture, it's food, it's that, but you know, the, what really connects us with this beautiful country of yours, it's our values, it's our faith, it's our determination, it's our freedom. It's what uh, the ancestors of all Greeks brought here in this country. And we're so proud of celebrating every year, remembering. Because what did the American Revolution was about? It's about the oppressed people trying to get their freedom, about speaking their mind, being free, to find their own destiny. This is what Greece is about. Our worst enemy was always ourselves, actually. And throughout centuries, throughout incredible challenges, still we're here. And believe me, we're going to be here for the next 2,000 years, thanks to our faith, thanks to our people, because this is our value, our people. And I can assure you, Mayor, wherever we have Greek communities, all over the world, from the other side of the world to this beautiful, incredible, powerful ally of ours, United States of America. They are a force of good. Wherever they are, people are proud to be next to them, to live with those people of values, faith. They know what they are about, their hard work. This is what our freedom is about, to make up our own destiny. This was the whole idea. And believe me, I can see this hall and I can see a hole somewhere in Athens or in Thessaloniki where I come from. So United States for us, the Greeks, is also a big echo of our values, a big echo of our hearts. That's why we adapt so well here. That's why we are so proud for our, for our diaspora here in the United States, even the smallest for the biggest community. And believe me, this is not a small community. There will never be a small community as long as we have our church and as long as I have one Greek family, because they're going to be a big one. So thank you so much. We are so proud of our diaspora, of all of you being here with us and sharing this beautiful moment this evening. Again, I apologize for being late as a good Greek. But the truth is, uh, there is no way, no cyclops, no, no sea, no monsters that will stop us of getting where we want to be. And this is to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Είστε η Ελλάδα, είστε η Κωστοπέ Ματρίου. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, να είστε καλά. Thank you very much, Mr. General. At this time, uh, Mr. Bill Kafskis, please. Mayor, you are taller than me, so I have. <laughs> Good afternoon, Honorable Mayor of uh, Brockton, Mr. Sullivan, elected officials. Senator uh, Brady, Council General Father uh, Romanos. Ladies and gentlemen, today we celebrate 203 years from the Greek Revolution. In order to be free, sometimes you have to fight. You have to fight for many, many different uh, enemies. Sometimes these enemies are around us. Sometimes these enemies, they are far away. The Greek nation back in 2019, I'm sorry, 1821, uh, fought a battle for freedom. That was the key, freedom. Freedom to um, democracy, freedom to faith, freedom for everything. In this country, our country here, the United States of America, we're free to be here today, to this beautiful atrium, to be among friends, relatives, and people from Greece. Some of us, we came from the old country, and some others, they were born here. But we celebrate today all together, the Greeks, the Hellenes, as we say, and the Philhellenes. And believe me, your mayor is a Philhellene. Every time I ask him, uh, please come to the parade, he's there. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor and with him the entire Greek community of Brockton. I ask you and I invite you to come to the Greek parade this year on April 7th on Boylston Street in Boston, where we're gonna celebrate 
our freedom, the Greek nation's freedom. In this country, there are about five million Greeks, and we try to keep whatever our ancestors kept. First of all, the, the faith. We try to maintain our language. We are trying to maintain our nation. Sometimes it's difficult. You know, uh, Mr. Mayor, there are some difficult times too in, around us. But all together, all together, we're going to look for a better future because we deserve a better future. Kyrias ke kyrie, simera gortazume ta diakosa tria chronia po tine panastasi tu hilia kakosa kosiena. Then masedo se kanena sti nelefteria i elgine sti kerdisan monitus. Palepsane, skotothikane, andres ke ginekes apoli tine lada. Από τη Μακεδονία, τη Θράκη, την Ήπειρο, τη Βόρειο Ήπειρο, την Κρήτη, την Πελοπόννησο, από παντού, από όλα τα νησά. Και είμαστε υπερήφανοι. Μερικοί ξεχνάνε τις πατρίδες. Είτε λέγεται Πόντος, είτε λέγεται Βόρειος Ήπειρος. Οι πονεμένες αυτές τις πατρίδες δεν πρέπει να ξεχνιώνται. Και όλοι εμείς είμαστε οι Έλληνες της Διασποράς που πάντοτε Είμαστε δίπλα στη μητέρα πατρίδα την Ελλάδα. Είτε είναι ο γενικό πρόξενο ο σημερινό, είτε ο προηγούμενο, είτε κάποιο που θα έρθει στο μέλλον. Πρέπει να είμαστε πάντοτε Έλληνε και Ελληνίδε και πάνω απ' όλα να έχουμε την πατρίδα ανεξάρτητα ποιο είναι ο αρχηγό. Ανεξάρτητα, είτε εγώ είμαι πρόεδρο, είτε κάποιο άλλο. Πρέπει όλοι να συμμετέχουμε. Σα ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ζήτω η Ελλάδα. Thank you very much, Mr. Kafkas. At this time, uh, George uh, Pettigalopoulos uh, could please come. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mayor. Good afternoon, <clears throat> Father Romanos, Honorable Mayor Brockton, Robert Sullivan, elected officials, Honorable Greek Council General of Greece, Simeon Tegus. Mr. Bill Kafkas, President of the Hellenic Societies of New England. The 25th of March is a very important day for the Greeks and the Greek nation. It's the day that unites us and fills our hearts with pride. We honor all who fought bravely and sacrificed their lives to give us the independent and respectful homeland. A homeland that we love, defend, and continuously help show that our mother homeland remains her glory and greatness. Today we also celebrate the Annunciation of the Holy Theotokos, our forefathers, those who day, that day emphasize and connect their brave fight for freedom with their forever love for their religion, asking the, mother, the Holy Mother of God bless and protect their request. Today we honor the heroes of 1821 that fought bravely and tirelessly for freedom. We're here in a great and historic city of Brockton, a city of many cultures and, and traditions. We're a Greek Orthodox community. We're proud to be part of the beautiful multicultural mosaic. We also are the first, second, third, and even fourth generation of Greeks are proud to be part of the community, and we will all work all together side by side for a greater and higher and brighter future. We are proud to be American of Greek descent. Άργια να έρθει εκείνη η μέρα που σαν όλα σου πειλά γιατί τα άσκιαζε φοβέρα και τα πλάκουν οι σκλαβιά. Ναι αλήθεια, η στίχη του Διοσίου Σολομού άγγιξαν τις καρδιές των Ελλήνων. Και η μέρα αυτή ήρθε την 25η Μαρτίου του 1821, όπου στην Αγία Λάβρα ο παλαιόν πατρόν Γερμανός, κάτω από το Λάβρο της Ελπαναστάσεως, 
ορκίστηκαν οπλαρχηγοί για ελευθερία ή θάνατος. Την ίδια μέρα που γιορτάζεται ο Ευαγγελισμός της Θεοτόκου, έκαναν το σταυρό τους και παρακάλεσαν την Παναγιά να τους προστατεύσει και να τους ευλογήσει στον Ιερό Αγώνα για την ελευθερία του ελληνικού έθνους από τους Οθαμανούς. Και γι' αυτό σε κάθε Έλληνα δεν πρέπει ποτέ, ποτέ να ξεχνάει τις θυσίε των προγόνων μας για να είμαστε σήμερα ελεύθεροι. Ελάτε όλοι να φωνάξουμε μαζί. Ζήτω 25 Μαρτίου. Ζήτω το ελληνικό έθνος. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this time, I'm going to read an official mayoral proclamation. I'm going to present it to the Consul General. It's an official mayoral proclamation from the city of Brockton. Whereas on March 25th, 1821, Greece gained its independence from the Ottoman Empire. And whereas thousands of Greeks, Greek immigrants left their homeland to settle and work here in Brockton during the 20th century. And whereas the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church, which began holding services out of, again, a two-story house on Spring Street in 1917, became the beautiful church complex on Oak Street that we have here today in our city of champions. Whereas the Greek community have truly enriched our lives with beautiful charitable efforts and culture and traditions, delicious foods, and just, just being wonderful. Uh, and also, again, we can't think, uh, forget about the annual Greek food festival conducted proudly by the church. Whereas this day and every day in our fine city of Brockton, we are proud to celebrate the contributions of Greek Americans and we truly encourage all citizens to learn more about the pivotal role that they played in our history here in the city and in our nation. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaim today, March 25th in the year 2024, in our city as Greek Independence Day. And I respectfully urge all residents in our fine city to please join me in proudly observing this day. And I'd like to give it uh, to the Consul General and to Father, and I proudly sign and seal it the 25th day of March, 2024. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Thank you. At this so time, the, uh, the choir is going to sing a beautiful rendition of the National Anthem of Greece, and we're going to proudly uh, raise the flag here in City Hall. Mr. General, Mr. Kafkas, Spanagolopoulos, Father Nick. Again, let's give the choir a round of applause. Phenomenal. We, again, we want to thank all distinguished uh, guests for joining us today. I want to thank the Consul General for traveling all the way from Boston. We, from Lowell, from Lowell, even worse. But uh, God bless, God bless each and every one of you. And again, we will see you next year and we will be back outside to recognize this wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whoa, I thought you were in Boston. No, no.